Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to try to catch a wild animal with this very old cage style trap. This trap is over 147 years old and it looks like it still works just as well as the day it was made. It's a spring loaded double door cage trap and it was first patented by Frank Rice back on August 15th, 1876. This wire cage has a wooden base on the bottom here. It's pretty dark and stained. That's usually caused when you catch a rat, it poops and pees on the wood and soaks in. You can see it's not on the bottom here, but on the top, it looks like it's caught a lot of rats, but probably not for at least 50 or 100 years. On the top of the cage here is a handle. That way when you catch a rat, you can move it without your finger getting bitten through the wire. In the center is a trigger. You place bait on the bottom. The rat will go inside and pull on that and set off the doors. In the middle is a spring and it's attached to doors on either end. You can set this with just one side open or a double with both sides open. To set it, you pull up this wire and pull it over. It stretches that spring and it's ready to go. When the rat goes in there and pulls on the trigger, it closes and this falls down and locks the door. That way the rat can't push out from the inside. To have it open on either end, we'll set it by pulling this up and this side as well. There's a piece of wire that goes over and holds both doors down and it's secure in the middle with the trigger. When the rat smells the bait and crawls inside and pulls on the trigger, it slams down and without the stick here, it would close. And that way the rat would be trapped and it can't get out. I can't wait to see if we can trick a rat in the barn. Well, this antique rat trap did work with the trigger system, but the doors didn't lock in place. They slid up too easily and the rat escaped. And then it chewed quite a bit on the sides. So this thing got worked over by that rat pretty well. I'm gonna retire it and place it on the rat trap collection. But overall, it was fun testing it out and seeing just how smart rats are. I haven't seen a rat so smart that it could lift up a door and climb out since the time a rat set off a trap with a stick. That video got a lot of attention and was even featured on the Joe Rogan Experience. There's videos of rats setting rat traps with sticks. <laughs> Have you seen this? No. Chats, pull that to video. Totally believable. So they, they set up a rat trap and this rat walks over and picks up a stick and drops it on the rat trap so it can get the cheese. Like it knows how to set that thing off and it didn't even flinch. Now, quite a few viewers reached out to me after seeing that clip on the Joe Rogan podcast. There seems to be a fascination with smart rats beating traps. But overall, I love testing out traps and seeing how well they work on mice and other rodents. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over a thousand videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch and sometimes not catch, Mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a mouse problem, please consider clicking the link in the description and purchasing one of the mouse traps I invented. It's called the Dizzy Dunker Mousetrap, and I consider it to be the greatest mousetrap ever made.